This video is about how to install Quantel Quetzal or Ubuntu 12.10 desktop into VirtualBox. Outcomes for this video is to download 32-bit Ubuntu 12.10 from the Ubuntu website, create an Ubuntu 12.10 virtual guest inside of VirtualBox, install Ubuntu 12.10 into a Ubuntu virtual guest, install VirtualBox guest additions into Ubuntu 12.10, install updates into Ubuntu 12.10, and then check if Unity 3D support in Ubuntu 12.10 is enabled in VirtualBox. Requirements, VirtualBox 4.2 or higher, an internet connection, and enough memory to run both Ubuntu 12.10, 768 megabytes, and your host operating system. Additional info. You can check in Ubuntu forums for how to get VirtualBox and Ubuntu 12.10 to play together nicely. Check issues dealing with Unity 3D support or issues dealing with VirtualBox lack of support for latest X Windows version. And there's also an enable Unity 3D support video on this channel that shows you how to do it. I can't give you the exact name or the exact YouTube link because that may change because I may have to update something or remove it if VirtualBox and Ubuntu 12.10 start playing together a little more nicely. Before installing uh, Ubuntu 12.10 or Quantel Quetzal into VirtualBox, it's necessary to uh, download the file. So here we are at www.ubuntu.com. And so we're just going to get Ubuntu 12.10. Click here. And then we're going to choose Ubuntu Desktop. Of course, there's also Ubuntu Server and then there's some cloud items. We're going to choose Ubuntu 12.10 and we're going to choose a 32-bit recommended version, though there is a 64-bit version available. Click on Get Ubuntu 12.10. Now they're going to ask for donations and if you give them $20, you'll even get a t-shirt with the donation. We're going to just take it, not now, take me to the download. And we'll save the file to the downloads directory. Here it goes, and you'll see in this case I've got uh, 48 minutes remaining. Now we're not going to video, I'm not going to let you watch this video for 48 minutes, but when it comes, when this is fully downloaded, what I'll do is uh, come back about right here, right before it's closed, and you can see what we have to do then. Here I am with about 10 seconds remaining, 9 seconds it says right here. Uh, one thing you need to make sure of, you know where to find this file. In my case, it was in the user, my username, download section. You need to be able to find this file because you'll be using it to install Ubuntu. And then in the final thing, it says a few seconds remaining. Don't worry, it takes about a minute for that to go off. So now everything is fully downloaded. And next section, we'll be setting up an Ubuntu virtual machine. Here we are in Oracle VM or VirtualBox Manager. Here is the place where you create uh, new virtual machines. Uh, so it's created a virtual machine for Ubuntu 12.10. Simply click on New. Give it a name. Whatever you wish to call it. I'm simply going to call it Ubuntu 12.10. doesn't matter here because this is a name. As far as the username on, on the machine, that could matter. Linux and Ubuntu. And click Next. Ubuntu 12.10 requires 768 megabytes of minimum memory so we'll give it at least that this means that your total hardware memory must be probably around close to two gigs if you run windows 7 windows 7 requires about one gig and this is 768 also vista requires about one gig so your total memory that you're required to have is this amount of memory 768 megabytes plus whatever amount of memory is required to run your host or hardware machine Click Next. We're going to create a virtual hard drive now. Create. We're going to use default setting, which is VirtualBox disk image. Click Next. We're going to use dynamically allocated. That basically means that you only use as much uh, hard drive space as you've actually uh, you're using. If you use fi fixed size, your hard drive space on your virtual machine will have a lot of empty space on it. Fixed size is a little bit quicker. Dynamically allocated takes better advantage of hard drive space and doesn't use it all up for each machine. Click Next. Here 
the fold is eight gigabytes. I'd say you'd go a little bit more than that. I usually like to have about 20 gigabytes on a virtual machine. And then, of course, you can uh, increase this if you need to at a later date. It's not that hard to do. Click on Create. Now, there are some changes that you're going to have to make. So here we have Ubuntu 12.10 with all the other machines. I'm only just going to push it right up here to the top. Then go over here to Display. Open that up. One thing that you're going to have to do for extended features is enable 3D acceleration. Click OK. Over in Storage, you're going to have to tell Storage where your Ubuntu 12.10 download is, your ISO file that you downloaded from the Ubuntu site. So where it says Empty, we click on this Empty. Then click over here. We're going to choose a virtual CD DVD disk file go to Mike downloads and here's the file that we downloaded 1210 desktop i386 ISO that's the file we downloaded from the uh, Ubuntu website select that click open click OK now we're ready to go ahead and start and simply right click you can use this start make sure it's highlighted and use this start or you can right click and start here we've started Ubuntu 12.10. Up comes this Ubuntu 12.10 running box. Got some boxes about default. You can click OK. Take a look. Read it. Read the error messages. Um, as we set everything up, that should go away. It will take a while for Ubuntu 12.10 to load. First screen it'll, where you have to do something is you get a choice. Try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. Since we're doing this in a virtual machine, actually installing, we're going to be installing it. You've got some things. It has at least 4.8 gigabytes. We've got 20 gigabytes connected to the Internet. There's one thing that you really want to be connected to the Internet if possible because this sure makes installing this a lot easier. So here we're going to download the updates while installing and we're going to install this third-party software, MP3 player. And there may be some other things. I'm not sure if that's the only uh, software that's installed here. Whether it is or not, you know, it changes from a little bit with each distribution. Then click Continue. The choice you should have, since this is a basic install, with there has been nothing on your virtual disk. So we're going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu. If this was a hardware machine, you could... Uh, actually remove the operating system accidentally on the machine going like this. So we continue here. That's the area where you are for, so it can get some uh, timestamps or you know look for a server and then get take some timestamps and get some information. You could click different areas. Just click where you are on the map and that will be okay. Click continue. And in this case, it picks English, U.S. Just try and stay away from detect keyboard layout unless necessary because that takes you through a whole set of different uh, menu items. Continue. In this case, I've got to put in my name. I'm going to call the computer's name. You need to have a name kind of made up for you. I'm just going to, And this is all lowercase. Quetzal, pick a username. Now, the password I, I pick right here is going to say a weak password, but I have all these virtual machines. I don't want to have a complex password I have to type in. So they're not running. They're just uh, demonstration machines. I always like to require my password to log in rather than log in automatically. And then after you've made your choices here, and you can also encrypt your home folder. Again, this is an additional level of complexity that I try not to deal with here uh, on these demonstration machines, but you've got, it depends what kind of data you're going to have in your home folder. Continue. Now here you've got a set of slideshows that 
explains a little bit about Ubuntu. It'll go through these, or you can go through these by yourself. So here we have copying files. It's going to be running here. And you can go to the slideshow yourself simply clicking here where it says find more software. You've got the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, that's like apps for your uh, Ubuntu that you can uh, download fairly easily. Here's one for using photos. Let's see. Photo Manager. GIMP is the probably the most complex or most common one used with Linux. Personal Cloud Ubuntu One. I think you've got 5 gigabytes of space. Uh, yes, here it says 5 gigabytes of space that you can store files in. That take your music. Now they're using Rhythm Box Music Player. And then you've got the Ubuntu One Music Store. And then we just click on Stay connected, Twitter, Facebook, Identica, uh, messaging menu. It basically uses Firefox, though you can use uh, Google a web browser, which I find works well inside of Ubuntu. Then you've got your LibreOffice suite, Writer, Calc, which is a spreadsheet, Impress, which is like PowerPoint all free. Of course you can customize Ubuntu a little bit, different uh, desktop and things like that. And here we are back at the beginning of the slideshow. Now here we go down here to so installing system and this is going to take 10-15 minutes. So we're not going to go through here when if there's a screen that shows something different or if there's a screen that actually goes to you know ask for some information you will see that on your own when you're not watching this video what you can do is you can go back to slideshow see anything you wanted that you're missing or you can take a break once everything has been installed you'll see this window pop up installation complete and we're going to click on restart now however please bear in mind that what I've discovered is that uh, Ubuntu 12.10 and VirtualBox don't play well together. You'll see a screen like that pop up and then you'll see this screen it says the system is going down for reboot now. At this point Ubuntu 12.10 just hangs up on my uh, Windows 7 box. So you're just what you're going to have to do is go up here if it hangs up, wait, wait uh, 10, 15 minutes. I'm sorry, not 10, 15 minutes. Wait 10, 15 seconds. Wait 60 seconds. Make sure that there's no problem going on. So we're just going to go to machine and then click on close and power off the machine. Not send the shutdown signal or not save the machine state, but power off the machine. Click OK. Once you've powered off the machine, here it is, Ubuntu 12.10. We're going to restart it. Uh, I'm going to restart it in the next section. Here we are in Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. Ubuntu 12.10 has been installed. Now we're going to do some configuration settings. So we've got it shut down. And so now we just simply go back and we'll start it again. comes up with ask for your password now two things that uh, have to happen one is we're, we're going to have to install guest editions and the other is that we're going to have to install all our updates now, uh, as of date of this video, which is November 23rd, 2012, Ubuntu 12.10 and VirtualBox do not play too well together, especially when it comes to Unity 3D support. So we're going to go through a number of steps, and some of them may be redundant.
at later date maybe VirtualBox and 1210 may play together a little bit better so the first thing I'm going to do right here is go to view devices install guest editions as I stated before this may not work in this version of VirtualBox but uh, it will install some guest editions and, and get you working a little bit better but not ev not get everything working don't worry about that I've got another video already made that shows how to make sure that everything works with VirtualBox and so we're going to say VBox editions click on run and of course you've got authentication authenticate and let it go through its work Okay, and finally it says press return to close this window. Put enter. And one thing I like to do, uh, because I'm I'm running out of room here, is I go to system settings, open up the system settings, go to appearance, and make these icons smaller so that they're not taking up all my space so I just make them 32 and that's so they're taking a little bit smaller and I simply click OK close this now the next step I'm going to restart the machine restart update the machine to get all its updates or now you notice that this time at Ubuntu 12.10, because we've installed uh, VirtualBox Virtual Editions, hopefully, that it, it has restarted. It's not going to a process where it hangs up anymore. So here we are again at the sign-in. Now before we use it, we go up here to Dash, or actually before we can start using let's update this and get all Dash Home. And we'll look for Update Manager. I think it's got a new name. You. Misspelled it there. And you notice how slow everything is working? We'll fix that at, at a later date. So here, go back to Dash Home. Right here, and now it's called Software Updater. We'll get that as far as we get the speed up in, in you know, uh, as part of the configuration here. And you'll notice another thing here, we've got some things from uh, Amazon that uh, is part of uh, Ubuntu 12.10 where they're trying to make some money and help support Ubuntu and you're going you're going to have to have a choice here whether you want to have that or not so let's but that's not part of the install process so let's go to software updater open that we are checking for updates So 62.4 megabytes will be downloaded. We'll simply click install now. Again, you've got to authenticate. It's going to take another 10 or 15 minutes to go through this, especially since we're doing installing a new Linux image and reconfiguring that. We'll come back when we're kind of through and then we're going to have to do another restart and actually see if we've got Unity 3D support. Here we are installing updates. Everything kind of disappeared. 
don't worry you're still going strong you're going to see a screen come up that says sorry the program comp is closed unexpectedly that's a screen to manage your program so we're going to click close and we're going to go back to installing updates come back when it's near the end just wanted to show you that screen and not let you get too excited and oh no this whole thing's going wrong that's kind of the way it works in this version of Ubuntu 12.10 with uh, VirtualBox. Okay, finally, we've got the computer needs to restart to finish installing updates. We're going to restart it, and it should restart normally. Click on Restart. Here it's restarted. And in this case, VBox Editions comes up and we're going to cancel the run because we've already installed it. We've already installed VBox Editions. Now we go to Dash Home. Open it up, type in terminal. What I'm doing here is I'm going to check for Unity 3D support. And what I'm going to type in, we're going to see if Unity is supported, Unity 3D supported. So type in USR LIB for library, NUX Unity. The port test dash p. You'll see right here it says Unity D3 support. It gives you a no. And this will cause this machine to run uh, slowly. Now I have I made another vid video which in the title it says enable Unity 3D support. I could give you the exact name but it may get updated Things may get updated here between uh, uh, VirtualBox and Ubuntu, where this may actually say yes. But if it says no, go to my video that says Enable Unity 3D Support, and it'll tell you how to get an Unity 3D Support. If it says yes, don't worry about it. Don't bother watching that video because it's not going to help you. Anyway, that's it for installing Ubuntu 12.10. Like I say, if this says no, you're going to have, you know, to get your machine running quicker and not hanging up, you're going to have to see the next video, Enable Unity 3D Support. Thank you.